another day, another episode of 13 Reasons Why Season 4. I'm so excited for this third episode of 13 Reasons Why Season 4. This episode is titled Valentine's Day, I believe. What the fuck? Are all the cameras? They're, they're everywhere. Look. It's probably just the vandalism, right? I like the uh, tech sounds <laughs> in the background. That's awesome. <laughs> Beep 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 I did Morse code it. I said, uh, I hate this show. Please end my existence. What? We talked about what happens if you don't pick up. You know the rules. No, no, I I don't. I don't know the fucking rules. All I know is that you called me 15 times since last night, and I don't know why. Uh, welcome to your tape, Clay Jensen. That was Hannah Baker, resurrected, and she's created a brand new tape for you to listen. I've had some interesting experiences. Some things that would have been fine to miss, but... Dude, Ani, shut up. There's something very big going on. Don't you see? This is why Clay is freaking out. Shut up. Ta stop talking about a dance. It's irrelevant in this situation. Can't you see that Clay's uh, freaking out? He's going sicko mode. I hate the way this guy dresses. What a... Uh, awful. He looks like a rich guy from the early 2000s. His older brother is often uh, being a doctor or something, and he's like, Okay, look, here's how you gotta dress. You gotta wear a turtleneck and a uh, gray pea coat that matches your gray turtleneck. It'll look very epic, very cool. I hate that this show pretends to be something more than it is. Like, it's just a, it's just a drama teen TV show. It's awful. But then on the other hand, it thinks that it's like some sort of afternoon special where it's going to teach you a lesson. Like, uh, and that's why you should respect women. And that's why you should not rape women. Thanks a lot. And then they go on to like try and cover up a murder. Very cool. Makes a lot of sense. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, 13 Reasons Why. I love it. Love to see it. Are you going to that stupid dance? I don't think it'll be a good scene for me right now. Yeah, I don't want to go to the Valentine's Day dance. You might accidentally do some drugs there. That would suck. They're watching royalty-free cartoons on the projector. <laughs> what is that? The original Disney uh, rabbit cartoon, Otis, or whatever his name is? Otis the Rabbit? Or uh, Steamboat Willie? Oh no, that's not fair use. That's not in the public domain. My bad. Here's my new theory about 13 Reasons Why. The whole show is taking place in Clay's dying brain. Clay Jensen, for the last four seasons, has been on his deathbed with his brain spurting and firing synapses to create this world in which uh, the girl he loved kills herself and leaves behind 13 tapes. Followed that, uh, in which a, a trial happens in which she has to defend her honor. Following that, the perpetrator of said crimes against his love is murdered and he has to cover up said murder. And at this point, his brain doesn't know how to how to continue this any further. And this is his last moment. Season four is Clay's last uh, fires of his brain synapses, and it's just going. Pss, 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 pss. And he's slowly realizing I'm dying, and that's why he's so paranoid. All these things that are weird that are happening in this show. It's just his brain losing control. His brain cannot structure a, a, a fathomable story anymore. I mean, it was already off to a rocky start, but it just couldn't figure out how to go on from there. And from there, everything just spiraled out of control. And at this point, his brain is just putting out things. And Clay is starting to realize, this doesn't make any sense. I'm dying. And so that's my 13 reasons why theory. I don't hate, not on gays. And I definitely don't hate women. <laughs> oh, the bar is super high here. I don't hate gays, and I don't hate women. Boom. What a guy. What a stand-up guy here. We'd love to see it. Love to see it on 13 Why. <laughs> I don't know. I'm good. Dude, dude, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going? I'm ditching you. You're kind of cramping my style. What? Wow, that is definitely something a high school student says. <laughs> In current year. You're really cramping my style, man. How do they have cops all over this school and this guy is getting away with drinking, like, in the light? Like, he's not even trying to hide it. <laughs> What's Clay gonna do? Kill another person? 
Okay. You're gonna add another uh, death to the end of the show? Anyone that freaks out like that at a fucking prank? That guy's hiding something. Uh, sorry, he simply just has, uh, schizophrenia. Idiots. You're right. I can't fix this. Clay, you're right. You're dying. This is your brain firing its last synapses before you pass away. Wow. Another stellar episode of 13 Reasons Why Season 4. We'll continue to wait and find out when they reveal the fact that Clay Jensen is on his deathbed and is going to die any second now. I can't wait to find out when Clay Jensen will pass away. It'll happen. It'll zoom out of his eyes and there will there will be with no one watching him. And it'll be a very old man. And it'll be and then it'll be like beep and he's dead. It'll be sad, but that's the way that this show is going to go. That's what it's painting out to be. I know, it sucks, but that's just how they it's how they wrote the show, so don't be mad. We're back with the funeral here of Justin. This is the funeral for Justin. Uh, sorry to spoil it for anyone that's watching, but uh, yeah, this is Justin's funeral. I confirmed it um, when I was editing one of the first videos, the first video for this. Uh, I had to look up that thumbnail for the 13 Reasons Why Justin story. And when I was searching in the search bar, uh, it just said Justin's death, 13 Reasons Why, so he, he does die in this. So it's not really a surprise for me anymore. It's pretty fun. Who's this guy? He looks like an extra from House of Cards. Secret Service agent guy. Yes. Well, you didn't have to throw your phone into the wild. Just turn it on silent, bud. It's easier than throwing it. The Legend of Burnham Woods. Some kids were partying in, like, ancient times, like, the 80s. Haha, like, <laughs> that's so funny, Clay. Ancient times, the 80s. Ha 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 That's good writing. That's stuff that I say. I say ancient times, the 80s. It's funny. <laughs> he buried them in the woods and marked their graves with Karens and crosses. And with Karens? Karen? Monty wasn't gay. Was he? People surprise you. Yeah, everyone on this show's gay, apparently, so... This is so bad. They made him gay just so they could have Winston come in and, uh, cause chaos. That's so funny. They... <laughs> they turned a character gay as a plot device. That's so funny. Who do you trust most in your life and why? This is awful. Who would want to go to this? This sucks. Like, this is garbage. Why would you... Why would anyone want to be there? Like, awful. You could literally be doing anything else, and you're doing this? Cool. Very cool. If you should encounter some wildlife, try to remain calm and back slowly away. And then come back to camp and change your underwear. <laughs> wow, that guy is such a class clown. So funny, Diego. Ha ha. Poo poo. Ha ha. Poop your pants. Ha ha. <laughs> Poopy poo poo. Ha <laughs> ha. Justin! 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 It's Justin. He's a furry. It's his first Sona. Justin? What the? What the fuck? Hey, let me go! Let me go! Hey! No! What? Was that wolf just conveniently placed there so that way they could trap Clay? <laughs> I'm like, yes, he finally looked at that wolf we got to stand there. <laughs> this is a perfect time for me to put a bag over his head. Yes! <laughs> what? I was there. Whatever they needed. When a kid needed uh, broom raped, I was the guy. That was me. I was the guy that broom raped. So old biker dude heard that I was a child molester and decided he was going to be a fucking hero of the county jail. Stuck a shiv in me. Twice. Third time he left it in. Did it hurt? Did it hurt? The same qu- How is it that two people on this season have asked someone, Did it hurt? Did it hurt? When the yeah. thing that was happening to them could have killed them. And in this case, did kill him. Did it hurt? <laughs> did it hurt to have a shiv in your back? What do you think, Clay? Fuck it off! Fuck it off! Ah! 
Uh, rest in peace, poor guy. He's gonna drown. You're out in the middle of the lake. You swam with another person all the way back to the shore. Are you serious? Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> That's the worst acting ever. Oh my god. You can say something that won't get anyone else in trouble. You won't get in trouble. I could just say that it was me alone and that I lied to everyone else. Your friends? They lined up because you deserve your life and you do not want to throw that away. Dad, it's not right. The older I get, the less I think I know what's right all the time. Or that Well, great social commentary. That's great timing here that we have a cop on here that's willing to cover up a murder uh, of his own son. Fantastic. You know, last year I would have said, ah, that's a bit too far of a stretch. But no, yeah, that's probably pretty accurate. There are probably many police officers who cover up their own children's murders for them. <laughs> How was that? I don't know, man. You're a police officer. Maybe you should go and check it out. This thing's getting all kinds of fucked up. <sighs> this episode alone has the worst acting out of the entire series. I can't believe it. It's incredible. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye. Take care. Think about your family. Uh, try not to think about the person that killed that you killed. Otherwise, you'll get anxiety from that for life. It'll suck. So don't kill anyone. Whew, that would suck. That would be awful.